Hello. Welcome. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the influence that curry powder has had on my life. Big impact. I'm an installation artist um, and this is an image of curry powder applied directly to the wall and uh, my husband's giving it a good sniff. It, it really stinks up the place. It's fabulous. So when I first started working with curry powder about five years ago, I started with this question that I found on a Yahoo Answers site and it was, help, my neighbor's house smells like curry. What should I do? And the answer was, call the INS. <laughs> and I was horrified. I think it was probably 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, I was sitting there, and I was like, how could somebody be so ugly? And you know, that their brain made that leap, right? And uh, so I was thinking, it was, it was the first time that I really thought somebody could be racist with their nose or with their fingers or with their taste buds, as opposed to with their eyes, because you always think of racism as something that's constructed with this, you know, your sense of vision. So I kept looking, I found all sorts of things, people complaining about the way people's couches smell, people's neighbors smell, and the most troubling thing was that removing the smell often removed, uh, involved removing the, the person. So, so I started to ask, wait, what is curry? And that took me back to England, actually, not, not India. Because curry was never curry in India before the British arrived, and you know, they landed and they found all of these millions of dishes and sauces, some had meat, some had vegetables, and they didn't really know what to, how to describe it, so they came up with this term called curry. And in order to keep eating this stuff you know, back in England, they came up with this yellow stuff in this jar, curry powder. So um, one of the first published recipes for curry powder is in Beaton's book of household management, which was something that um, British women would carry with them to the colonies to, how, you know, to show them how to set up a good British home abroad. But I'm Indian and Japanese, and both of my people eat a lot of curry. And they're very, very, very different. Japanese curry usually has big chunks of beef in it. It has a curry roux. It comes out of a squeezy pack sometimes. It's fast food. You know, Indian curry is usually, I mean, it was homemade. It would never come out of a squeezy pack. I guess it does now. And I realized, actually, that the Japanese got their curry from British naval ships. Because at that point, curry had gotten so popular that the British were eating it once a week. Um, as, their, as their, I think it was their Saturday meal or something, I could be wrong about the date. And they passed that tradition on to the Japanese, but that's why it has a, a flour base and it's filled with beef, <laughs> which is not something you run into very often in India. So, um, flash forward a little bit, um, my mother, whose family is originally Japanese, they moved to Colombia, and uh, one of the things that they asked me for is packets of golden curry powder. So I transport pounds and pounds and pounds of this to South America every time I go to visit them. So I was looking at this can of S&B curry powder one day and I thought, oh my god, S&B, that's my initials, Sita and Bamak. I was meant to work with this. It's a metaphor for me as a human being. So since then, I've um, turned it into curry perfume because I figured why not just Indians smell like curry? So there's some curry perfume going around right now. Um, and Allison's in my lovely <laughs> curry costume. I've dusted it through the streets of Oakland as well. This is a sugar and spice series. This is around my home. And I've also opened the Curry Institute. This is in Walla Walla, Washington. And people, um, I painted a world map in bare curry powder color. They actually make this stuff. And people were invited to chart their curry cartography with little points on the map. And uh, I encourage people to eat more curry. I've even put it under, oh, sorry, put it under gold plates and uh, stuck it through the mail. This is actually something that I took off of someone's blog after I made this piece called A Spot of Curry and sent it through the mail. And they sent it to someone and posted it. So. So to recap really quickly, okay, so there was this thing called uh, food in India, and um, then the Portuguese went to the Americas, got this chili stuff, took it back to India, got really spicy. The British came, took that stuff, put it in a can, took it around to Japan. From Japan, a couple hundred years later, my mom went to Colombia. She moved to Los Angeles. My dad also moved from Bengal to Los Angeles. I uh, was born, moved to San Francisco. I'm here right now, and next week, I'm going to India, and I'm taking a can of Japanese curry powder. Ha, 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 ha.